just in case. <sighs> I needed that. Birds. Any spacing. I'll probably add this to the other video. Honking. Heard that. I'll add this to the other video. I wanted to decide to leave, so that's why I sent me pacing again, twice this woman. Because you have to have an excuse to make it look like nothing really weird's going on, because if it's too obvious, then they're exposed. So they tone down the program, the microchip program. You can intensify it or tone it down in terms of the actions. You can get really bad or really easy. Honking. But it's light, it's far away. You're going to notice in this video that I'm not talking and explaining things to you. You're going to see more motion and noise than the other one. Especially noise. Listen to the background. Light. less obvious with planes watch my older videos how I see about 60 planes a day every day on top of my head <laughs> not lately though somebody crossing on the street over there the side street far away they're trying to do it covertly you hear that car They can give you more than five to ten minutes of these. You have to hear something. You have to see something. That's how it works. Because to get a, a straight train of thought, a concentration level, a, a, a super concentration level where you can think and function properly, you need peace. The whole point of putting the machine on a very talented individual is specifically for that. To deprive you of that level of concentration and enlightenment. So you never get to it. You're surrounded in a machine of torture that's not noticeable to the gullible eye. So you hear the noises really far away. Listen, dude, dude. The reason why I want you to hear light noises, because you can compare them to my other videos and you hear heavy duty noises, then it would prove to you that they could see through your eye, because they know I'm recording.
you have to prove that there's a microchip in you through your videos through those machines where they can detect it anything now I've seen a lot of articles out there illegally wired about the NSA releasing documents that yes they microchip people in the eye it's very small it's like a pencil the tip tip you just put a dot on a paper less than millimeters <clears throat> and they stick it either in the retina or the optic nerve I don't know if that's true but it's either uh, it's a hundred percent in your head so in your brain the top part of your body in that area because it's in your ears too your your sound your the hearing is attached to it you know what I mean the people downstairs they'll know exactly when to make noise when I can hear it when I can't they won't make it that's how bad it is when I'm not home nothing happens as soon as I get home the noise starts they start talking they bang things they drill things into the walls you name it so I made this extra video for you guys just to get a little bit more out of it to show you how the entity has can intensify what's around you or lower the grade in terms of how much noise and motion you see because they don't want to be exposed so guys illuminati gatekeepers all that stuff is true but these guys are not it's not them that implemented the system there are there are one man one man is one brain that controls all these bodies you hear that they're a part of one man it's an entity not from this realm it's demonic so satan does really exist there is a tangible devil out there it's not devil the way we think though because if you give the option that there's a devil and god in every human being then every human being can change but that's not the case here one man they can't change because they got no soul in them but they are a breathing corpse just like us they function exactly like us physically they just don't have an independent mind they're not a, an independent thinking entity no the wind's gonna kick in now they'll stop it because i'm proving you they're not an independent you know what i mean humans are independent thinking entities that's how you get to have a soul if you don't have an independent mind then you're controlled then you can't feel anything because you can't say i feel like eating pizza because the brain is telling you no I want you to go and drive so that's the reason why you have a lot of zombie movies and shows and vampires and all that stuff this entity speaks to you like that the all-seeing eye is not an invention by the Rothschilds guys it controls them they're the gatekeepers so there is the idea of aliens and everything this is them guys they've been here for 10,000 years they created this whole system that we have today this machine to beat the Trumans which are the true emotional human beings that go by the way they feel not because they're ordered in their brain to do something now you know who started all the wars who created this miserable machine the whole idea is to keep us miserable that's why you hear a lot of negativity out there always disasters people dying crime well if this entity controls all these minds and gets two people to fight and kill each other or gets some guy to go shoot 25 kids and it controls all those kids and the guy who shot them then what does that got to do with real human beings with the Trumans I don't like making these videos telling you the truth straight up like that that's not good for me it's good for you you know what I mean? I have, I have a lot of people opposing me and hating me. But that's what you get for speaking the truth. It's always been that way. All right, guys. Now you know who started all the wars, who died in all these wars. It's all designed to keep you miserable. Pinned to the wall, surrounded by its people, abusing you. Inventing uh, diseases like autism and schizophrenia for them to drive you crazy and irritate you with noise and motion. And psychologically keep you miserable how do you know they don't switch kids in hospitals guys make sure it's your real kid make sure it's your real mother your real father I'm not I don't mean to make people you know paranoid but this is what's the case in the world what's happening this doesn't happen to everybody but that's what's going on So we live in a machine, guys, the world today. It's, a, it's, a, it's an evil machine that sucks the soul right out of you, keeps you miserable, 
annoying you. Constant messages on your phone, constant windows popping out on the internet, constant interruptions. Look at the time that people call you on your phone. It's a time where you can't talk. That's not by chance, guys. Think about what I told you. One brain controls all these bodies. That brain's working against you and he's using the bodies. Not to do 10 actions towards you through one body, but using 10 bodies and each one of those bodies does one action to you. So it's covert, you don't know what's going on, you just feel like crap. You get it? If I don't stress you out today, I'll use, I don't know, uh, Don to come up and, you know, uh, tell you a sad story. Then when you leave the office, I'll get Donna in the elevator to talk on the phone and pretend she just met this millionaire boyfriend and let's say you don't have one and, you know, for you to get jealous and feel envy. When you get to the parking lot, I'll get, uh, I don't know, Maria to uh, sort of, you get the point? So when you use them people around you to make you miserable, you, you don't get it. You can't find out that someone's out there to get you. Because you're expecting these people to be independent. But this is how you expose this entity. That's how I got to find out. Because I got microchipped. And the attacks become closer to you. When the attacks get closer to you, you'll be able to calculate more. You'll figure out that there's an agenda being applied to you. And all these people you're encountering, they're not really speaking to you from the heart. They're not doing something that's beneficial to them. That's why they're speaking to you. No, they're helping that push that agenda. Well, who is it for? They're not benefiting. Benefiting? You're not benefiting. What's going on here? Do these people have an independent mind? Or is there a thinking a virus controlling all their heads? That's how I found out. And some of my videos prove this. Not fully, I admit, but a certain percentage. That's what's happening. That's what happened in the history of mankind. How do you think they built both pyramids in South America and in Egypt at the same time? They had no ways of transportation back then. One brain, guys, controls people on the earth. Okay? How do you watch a movie like The Last Witch Hunter see Calder? Oh, his name is Calder. I wonder why. He's 10,000 years old. How's that possible? And now you say to yourself, well, that's fantasy. It's entertainment. It's a movie. No, oh, guys. Not everything. Every movie out there, when you wake up, you realize it's telling exactly what it's doing to you around you in real life. But covertly, by insinuation. Zombies, they're not taking a chunk out of your neck. But they're definitely doing it out of your soul. So, this is how. How can the Rothschilds figure out that France lost the war six, seven hours before England found out and the guy played with the stock market and siphoned all the money to himself. Now you know why. One brain controls these corpses. How did, how, how did it work out so perfect to bring out the system, orchestrating all these wars and bringing out the result that you want? No human being can do that, guys. <sighs> This is a demonic entity from a different realm that wants to enter ours and has built technology for it to have eyes on us. That's why there's a lot of cameras everywhere. That's the whole reason why cameras were invented. And because they're soulless corpses, they don't go by the way they feel. And when you go by the way you feel, that's what makes you survive. It's survival. They have to mimic us. This is why you see a lot of my videos, people copying me out there. Wearing the same jean. If I eat cheese today, I'll go eat cheese. If I brush my hair sideways, I'll take the bus. I'll see some guy brushing it sideways. Not normally, really weird. That nobody does, for example. This is how. It's a mimicking entity. It has used us for the last 10,000 years to survive. Watch Dark City. 98. You know, when this entity, it tells the humans, our people are dying. You know, so that's what's happening. I got some peace here. I made you guys some two good videos. I'll be in touch. I got to do a lot of things today. I'm a little bit late. So now as I walk to the building, who knows what could pop our way. They always do. You know, I have some peace. You need this. I don't get this much. Now the talking will start, the pacing. The, the whole time I was there, you didn't see much come out. If I was standing here, it would have been different. Watch my other videos. 
two cars come in as I walk here. Look. Watch. Look. Okay, guys. Now that I'm gonna turn and go into the building, I don't see two cars turning in now. Why not? Or one. Calculate. Study one's waiting for me at the elevator. Study your surroundings. Study them. Don't get too paranoid, but take them into consideration. stand and you're microchipped because it's always windy when it's not busy. I'm always freezing at uh, certain days. Today's the 20th of November, I think, 2019. So the mail now. As I walked in, somebody checked out the mail. Door got shut. Why? Why do these things happen? I'll tell you how this psychological warfare. But you have to know what I'm going through. I have my brother nagging on me every day for the last week. They keep on checking the mail because he's got some kind of credit card coming in. He needs the money desperately. So every time I come in here or even outside on the street, I record it on the small camera for you when I was out there. A lot of people today, when I get to close the mailboxes, they drop it in. I've seen about 10 in an hour. That's how the psychological warfare of the machine works. To remind you of things that are weighing on you. It's a system designed to keep you irritated, annoyed, and things weighing on you, in your mind. Oh, I have to do this tomorrow, I get procrastinated. Guys, we procrastinate for a reason. We need a break. We're being stressed, not by chance, by architecture and design. All right, so hopefully, you know, some people benefit out of these videos. They're not gonna be that many, but hopefully they do. I could, you know, feel good about myself that I've actually produced something. I became a human being for once. You know, because see, they put carts in front of you. This one, the other day, was parked this way. So it blocked this way. Tighten up the passages. Watch my other videos. I proved to you how they tighten up all my passages. I'm going to upload videos today about that, actually, that I filmed yesterday. So I can link to this video. Home sweet casa. See you guys later.